keep in mind that it's open to everything but attached to nothing. Um, some words spoken by Dr. Wayne Dyer, I believe his name is. As a U.S. Marine, it's, uh, it's a bit of a conflict to um, truly follow those words. <clears throat> because on one hand, you know, you want, if you see injustice, crime, something wrong, something dishonorable, I would like to uh, take. I would like to take action, um, immediate action, to uh, balance out the universe. But I see the um, the logic in uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer's words of keeping your mind open and attached to nothing. Because if someone's robbing you, or someone's robbing your best friend, or someone you love, or raping someone you love, you're not going to be uh, attached to nothing. You're going to tap into that uh, killer instinct that uh, a lot of humans have. <coughs> the fight or flight mode. And in a Disney world, you know, of course we could just let shit go, but again, um, here in California, Los Angeles, or some parts that uh, well, I don't think it'd be the best, uh, the wisest choice to follow those words. And I don't think his words are an absolute truth. It's, it's his truth. And uh, it's pretty awesome that it life worked out that way. But um, I think it's relevant or else I wouldn't be speaking about it. But I could apply it to... Uh, you know, to spilled milk, people of our different opinions, political and religious. like uh, the people that uh, get stabbed for wearing the uh, jersey of the uh, rival team. I'm trying to think what uh, movie it's uh, simply just pranks to uh, play on the, the rival team and the fans. But, uh, there's actually Shit, people actually get fucking stabbed, shot for uh, wearing a certain color here in Los Angeles. Mysteries of the mind, right? As uh, Jim Rohn might, might put it.
and they were. <coughs> there are people that uh, didn't think like that and have given us the the world that we live in today, whether it's uh, Hitler with World War Two or um, the Wright brothers that uh, helped the man become airborne. You know, two people, or well, people that just uh, didn't uh, want the ordinary schedule, the regular schedule, or the same approach to keep on going or be repeated. Solution technology is uh, is the uh, solution to uh, when someone said no, no more, none of this. definitely a, a balance to um, decide how uh, when you're going to be flexible with something when you're going to let something go You know, if uh, relationships don't work out for me, I think I would play more to relationships than uh, anything else. Where if chemistry didn't work out, you know, I can't even um, remember every girl's name that I dated. Somebody say, hey, you're a fucking dog, it's, but it's more like... Um, didn't find uh, it's cool being with them, hanging out with them, but mm -mm, even some of them are memorable. Life goes on. Life goes on. And and I know that I'll uh, I'm gonna form relationships and relationships will end, but you know, life goes on. I even thought about it, you know, what if uh, I'm not married but if my wife cheated on me? I think, uh, yeah, that would suck, right? But do the math. Six and a half billion people on this planet. I'm pretty sure I could find another one. So. And soulmate is just, uh, I think, a romantic Disney word. Soulmate is something, uh, it's a unicorn. Scarce. Scarce. I think it's possible, but extremely scarce. 
with uh, America having a national average of a 53% uh, divorce rate. Yeah. I'm really buying the uh, soulmate theory very much. And if I'm wrong, uh, again, you could comment below. Thumbs it down, thumbs it up. Tell your BFF to su subscribe. Or to troll me. Either one, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> 